Yeah, I was about to say I'm gonna regret not just immediately blasting the Convoker in the face. Fortunately, I did not come to regret it quite yet. So we just barely take care of that one in the nick of time as well. Fantastic. And that should basically be Vaults 1. Oh, unless it opens up into a whole another section of the floor. Holy moly. Well, I don't mind this whatsoever. There we go. And three grabs. We get all six of you, so that's fantastic. In fact, I don't even know. Let's not cast any spells. This is back to let's just try to conserve a bit of our magic and let our Spellforge friend take care of all the the difficult work here and that should be fantastic not too shabby indeed and right slimy friends do not care about our our grasp so we'll play it a little bit carefully there and there we go vaults one complete yeah relatively straightforward no super near-death experiences you know besides the one centaur uh or not centaur warrior, Yaktar captain. There we go. That's the that's the ticket. I mean, I wish that it was just a, a centaur warrior. That seems like it's very much up our our current alley in terms of what we can handle and deal with. Okay, reach out and grab all of you, and that is beautiful, fantastic. Do. -do. And I'm already starting to feel that I'm definitely becoming a little bit lazy in my my play here. But I think at this moment in time we can kind of get away with it. Again, that might be the aforementioned hubris coming into full effect, but nah, this time it's different. This time this time it's real for sure, right? Um phone a friend. Hide behind said friend. Reach out and grab ya. Okay, that was a little bit more of an effective method of dealing with our uh, four-legged friends. Reach out and grab all of you kiddos. And there we go. Spell for Surter finally getting a bit of a piece of the pie here. Doing their, their good work. Fantastic. And not too shabby. Yeah, I guess all you need in life is Bjornir's vile clutch and a friend. Who knew? Okay, yeah, just wanted to confirm I cannot, in fact, clutch you in vile fashion, so just have to walk away. Okay, slightly concerned here. Okay, Yaktars are normal speed. That's something that I always kind of forget. That is the the one big advantage we have for the moment here. Uh, friend, could you please... No? Okay, that's cool. That's fine. I, I guess I don't need you to do any of the work. <laughs> you know, Spellforce Servitor, pretty fantastic friend. Best buddy that a uh, aspiring Dungeon Delver could possibly ask for. Except when it comes to uh, narrow corridors, apparently. Greatest weakness. I mean, we've all been there, so uh, can I blame you? Fantastic. And perfect, we do get our, our buddy locked in here with us, because never a, uh, a real guarantee. And we'll just once again let you finish everyone off. Perfect. I was. <laughs> I like do and don't want to see some kind of representation of when I get Spellforge server in the run, just how often do I end up saying, uh, we'll let them take care of it is a big one for sure. Leave this up to our Spellforge buddy is, is up there. Don't get me wrong. I'm a sucker for uh, getting phrases just locked into my head and it's all I can think to say for the foreseeable future. <laughs> But Spellforge Servitor, I think, might just bring out the uh, the worst of that in me. <laughs> or, I was going to say for better or for worse, but probably more so uh, leaning towards the ladder there, unfortunately. 
Oh, hello, my wizard friend. Fortunately, don't need to worry about you banishing us. That is fantastic. And not too shabby. Just about done with our new batch of buddy old pals. Bring your decks, no thank you. And that is wonderful. Oh, no, no undead enemies? Are you okay, Bolts, too? Are things all right with you? Honestly, feel a little bad taking advantage of your lapse in, in judgment in terms of equipping your crypt entrance with some viable bodyguards, but I'll take it. You know, not complaining, just commenting. And you know, this is something I'm probably going to regret, but I think I want to move Iron Shot. Let's move Iron Shot to, uh, to C here. Basically, I want it to be on the first four macros. Make it a little bit more straightforward to cast, so I'm not just constantly spread eagling across my entire keyboard. I kind of want to do the same for Shatter, but it does not have a confirmation. So it's always dangerous for me to put them on here, especially since the first however long half hour hour of this shift, I'll probably just be constantly forgetting that Iron Shot has been moved there. So that's always an interesting bit of a learning curve. Oh, holy moly. That is an interesting group of enemies. Ooh, and more Vault Warden. What do I owe the pleasure? I mean, we've taken care of most of the floor here. So maybe, just maybe, we just start blasting. Okay, well, there we go. Immediately recover all of our magic. We go from pretty much out of magic points to fully flush again. Love that. Love that for us. And, oh my gosh, I remembered that Iron Shot moved macro keys. It is a gosh darn miracle. <laughs> Holy moly. But hey, we'll just keep shattering... The wheel here fantastic definitely throw those points into intelligence and that should just about be the the area taken care of done and dusted okay not too shabby do we want to continue going through vaults <laughs> is my my hubristic confidence well earned or not is kind of what my actual question boils down to because i'm feeling like we could just go back to our regular flow here, finish off depths, as well as start thinking about heading towards our third rune. But I'm very much con uh, conscious in some small part of my mind that that may not be the best strategy, not the best plan forward. But I think I'm going to do it anyway. I mean, we could always go to Crypt as well. Because we have Shatter online, all our bone-based enemies are going to get demolished. Because I believe, and I could be misremembering things, but the damage on Shatter here with the star is because 3d53 is the like neutral damage on your average enemy. And then on insubstantial enemies or um, flying enemies, probably other categories as well it goes down to i believe just 1d53 and on bone based enemies crystal based enemies ice based enemies does it go as high as six i think it goes to 6d53 double damage which is just wild so we should be able to demolish any kind of skeletal bows that come our way but who knows if we'll even get there because i am gonna take a little bit of a risk here we're gonna head out to regular dungeon or I guess depths as it were, and just get a feel for it. See how things are going, shall we? Reach out and grab you, my friend. Definitely reach out. As soon as the Tengu makes their appearance, I'm more than happy to do something that is not only unavoidable, but also <laughs> removes the enemy's evasion. It's pretty much the greatest wombo combo when it comes to dealing with our, our bird-like friends. Another thing I could be thinking about on this run is potentially swapping up our shield at some point. Currently just getting cold resistance off this buckler. Probably wouldn't be too, too much trouble to at the very least swap up 
to do oh there we go my first <laughs> accidental hit based on the macro key change whoopsie daisies did not mean to poison this vapors you i was actually going for a stone arrow i mean i should have known when i didn't see the trail i just thought that maybe my brain was wrong in some fashion also completely and totally lost my my train of thought once again was initially just worried by the earth mage there you know when we're made out of stone not the person you want to come across in a uh, a duel to the death here suffice it to say um spellforge servitor is almost dead you know what, I was hoping that stone arrow would do the trick, but no, I guess not. Then goodbye, my friend. Just gonna take a bit of a hike here, hope you don't mind. And there we almost go. Oh, I did the thing again. Great job, me. But hey, at least the stone arrow does the trick this time. Takes care of our uh, irony friend, no problem. Man, why have I suddenly regressed so much? I was doing so well with using the proper puckies, and now I'm back to just constantly casting poisonous vapors instead of iron shots. So that's great. Great work, me. Just brilliant job, as always. And there we go. Fantastic. But at the end of the day here, nothing we can't handle. All going barely well things considered so that is beautiful and especially since I wasn't too confident in the the decision to just skip out on our usual plan of completing a little bit more of vaults than we did I think for the moment here it seems to be working out just fine in our favor I guess where it really starts to uh, become a more real question is Zot. And in fact, just thinking about Shatter, you know, I was just talking about insubstantial and flying enemies. Zot is full of both of those categories. Orbs of Fire, all the dragons. Not gonna be the best choice. Ignition, also not fantastic against them. I guess Orbs of Fire, not the end of the world because we'll probably go with a like Lahudub's Crystal Spear. Spellforge Servitor combo, and that should basically take care of our problems for us. Hmm. Should also check. Some more spellcasting would give us a couple more slots to work with. I probably do want that here, so we're going to put it up to 16 and focus it down. And then do I take the fire magic here as well? I mean, alternatively, could probably build up our defenses. But I kind of like fully leaning into this Blaster Caster. We at the very least have the additional defensive capabilities of our Gargoyle uh, innate AC here. So don't need to worry as much as some other casters about hybridizing our clothing articles. I definitely just, I cannot make up my mind to save my life right now. I think, do you know what, we'll be fine without Ignition. Let's instead just get Lahudub's Crystal Spear under our belt. And that will probably do the trick. Regardless, for the moment here, let's just get right back into it, shall we? Thank you, my spell, uh, spell forged friend. Great work out there as always. And shouldn't be too shabby here. Oh, a flayed ghost. I guess makes sense that they could not be grabbed by hands. It's weird because their tile appearance doesn't make me think of them as an insubstantial ghost type monster, since they look so much like a, a rigid coffin. But I guess it is right there in the name, so I shouldn't be too, too surprised that... Uh, they behave as a ghost might, as a ghost would, in fact. Now let's get out of our own way here. And that should just about do the trick. Fantastic. Another heal wounds, or another two heal wounds even. To what do we owe the pleasure? Thank you, dungeon. I appreciate it. 
and that should be most of our, our general issues here taken care of. Ooh, a javelin ear. Didn't get to see any of you kiddos this round. Apparently won't be seeing you much longer either. Fair enough. And so let's just do the same here. Bring out our Spellforge friend. Oh, right. Everyone's in deep water. I hate that. I hate that for you, my friends. But there we go. That is much, much better. And ain't no thing. Well, okie dokie. Oh my gosh. Wait, we already hit those caps? Well. Huh. In that case, what the heck am I doing with my life? I'm going to turn on fighting here temporarily. And what I think I actually want to do is, do we have any other shield options worth looking into? We have just regular kite shields, but nothing fancy. Tower shield is a bit much, but technically possible. <laughs> just would require a pretty significant... Um, dedication of our experience here. Boost scroll of acquirement, though. Could give us something good, only it unfortunately doesn't. Let's see, a grimoire of assistive pu putridity. Putridity. <laughs> you know, earlier in the stream I was talking about weird conjugations. That definitely fits the bill as well. Putrid. No problem saying that word. But as soon as I try to add the itty, brain just shuts down and starts ringing all the alarm bells, lights blaring. Um, I don't really see much use to anything here, so I guess we'll probably just take the money. Because I think our current boots are awesome, right? Pretty solid. Plus four with fire resistance. I don't think I'm really planning on switching those anytime soon, especially for something that removes my intelligence. So yeah, I guess It'll be the money for me. We'll just grab a handful of cash and keep on keeping on here. Wouldn't mind getting another requirement scroll just because I'm a, a sucker for rolling the dice. Don't think there's anything that I'm desperately needing here besides that aforementioned shield that would be just nice to have. Um, let's reach out and grab you. We're occasionally hit by an invisible friend here. Okay, do you know what? I just need to do. Sure, we'll switch out this one. Because my friend here can see invisible, right? No, you cannot. Never mind. <laughs> I mean, eventually this son of a gun has to show their face, right? <laughs> that's the that's the dream, at least. I'll grab you myself. And that does the trick just fine. Switch back into our lovely resistance ring. And let's just finish off the rest of... Oh, Depths 2. For whatever reason, my brain thought we were still in Depths 1 here. Definitely not going too, too shabby, all things considered. So we face off against just Tengu after Tengu. Hello, my birdie friends. Beautiful. And with that, you know, I keep wanting to make bold claims about how close we are to down the floor, but maybe I should just hold my horses and let's just uh, worry about our current issues, shall we? Most namely, that earth mage just constantly shattering our bones. Hate that for us. And so we'll do a little something or another about it here. Definitely don't iron shot myself. That would be tragic in many, many ways. Um, but we'll just blast you. Yeah, not going too, too poorly, all things considered. So I think we are on track to potentially be on the, uh, the home row here. The home sprint. What word is am I struggling for here? Regardless, the end of the journey is approaching here. And it's looking like we'll be in a pretty decent spot for finishing off. 
the rest here. Zot, maybe notwithstanding, still slightly concerned, as one should always be, when uh, readying yourself for an endeavor down into the doldrums. Reach out and grab you, and... Ooh, hello, Pargeet. A trolley friend. Well, we'll definitely find a different stairwell just to play it a little bit on the safe side here. Oh, thank you, Brain. Yeah, the home stretch, of course. <laughs> no, you got it. Thank you for uh, for helping out where my own brain is severely lacking and unable to. I appreciate it. And there we go. Parg it down. Holy moly. Just obliterated from this plane of existence. So, we don't really have any shields that we want. I don't even really have armor. I mean, there was that one piece of chainmail earlier, which I guess would be an okay trade. I can see how all my current casting rates are looking with that exchange. So, you know, for now, when in doubt, just turn on fighting. Bit of health, always nice, no matter how you, you slice it. <laughs> 